Hi, I'm Ulysses and I'm here with the Inner Branch Library. Today we will be talking about streaming movies and TV. The title of this slideshow is called Cord Cutting on the Cheap. Okay, so what is cord cutting? Cord cutting is basically when someone wants to get rid of their cable or satellite that you actually attach to the back of a television set, hence the term cord cutting. A lot of people throughout the past few years have been cord cutting more. They've been getting rid of their cable or satellite and actually replacing them with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, YouTube Live as well, for example. And it's something that's actually been gaining momentum since a couple years ago, ever since Netflix came out. So what exactly do you need? First of all, you need internet access or Wi-Fi. You could also use a computer or a laptop. You could use a mobile device such as a smartphone or a tablet. You could use a TV, any regular TV, as long as you connect a streaming player to it, or you could use a smart TV, which already has the streaming player built into the television set itself. Or you could do the streaming player such as Roku, Chromecast, Fire Stick, Apple TV, or any other type of streaming device that you could find out there. Another option is also a Blu-ray player with built-in Wi-Fi. And last but not least, an HDMI cord. So does the library offer any free streaming service? Yes, the library offers Hoopla Digital, where you can stream movies and television from a computer, phone, tablet, or TV. Some of our neighbors such as Brazoria and Harris County Public Libraries also offer a service called Canopy, where you can also stream movies from a computer, phone, tablet, or a TV. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull up my Firefox right quick. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm on the Fort Bend County Library homepage. So I'm gonna click here on this tab that says Books, eLibrary, and more. And I'm gonna go all the way down to where it says Download Movies, and I'm going to click on Hoopla. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, as you can see here, it says that Hoopla is available on web or mobile, basically like a computer such as I'm using right now, or you can download the apps on the Apple Store or Google Play or Amazon App Store. You could also use your Chromecast, Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, whether it's the smart TV or the devices, as well as Roku, Roku TVs or the devices itself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Browse Titles. Okay, so I'm gonna click on Browse up here and I'm going to click on Movies. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down and let's take a look at this particular movie, The Life Aquatic with Steve Sisu. Okay, so if I wanna borrow, I would click on Borrow and it would ask me to sign in. All you need to create a Hoopla account is the good working email address, your library card, and the password to your library card. Any media such as a movie or TV show that you borrow on Hoopla, they let you borrow it for 72 hours or three days. In case if you don't finish watching it, it returns itself automatically. And, and if you want to borrow again, you could actually borrow it again. Okay, so let me click back on browse and go to television. Okay, so as you can see here for television, it has TV shows for adults as well as kids. Let me go ahead and click on Paw Patrol. Okay, so something to keep in mind with the TV series is that you cannot borrow a whole season at once. You could only borrow one episode at a time. With Fort Bend County Libraries, we offer you five titles or five checkouts a month. So once you use up the five, you have to wait until the next month to get a brand new set of five borrows. So that's just something that you should keep in mind. Okay, let me go back to my slideshow. Okay, so free streaming services. Things to keep in mind. The sites or the apps that we recommend are all legal. They are totally free with ads. 
Some do offer a premium subscription, basically where you have to pay if you want. That way, if you pay, it's ad free. You don't need to create an account for some of them. Titles can be there for a while, then taken back away, then brought back like Netflix, for example, where it might be there for a few months, then it gets taken away, then it comes back some months later. Okay, Crackle. Crackle is owned by Sony. It offers free movies and TV shows. Not all TV show seasons are available at once. You don't need to register unless you want to keep track of your history or resume where you left off. Okay, so let's go to the Crackle website. Okay, so you can see here, it's set up pretty easily, Spotlight channel, drama channel. But if I click up here on TVs, it actually lists all the TV shows in alphabetical order from A to Z, or you could do it by genre. If you wanna watch a comedy, click on comedy. The only TV shows that will show up are the ones that are classified as comedy. So Crackle is pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, let's go back to our slideshow. Okay, Tubi. Tubi offers free movies and TV shows. It has a great selection of anime. So if you're into anime, it has a great selection of anime shows and movies as well. The good thing about Tubi is with some of the TV shows, they have multiple seasons available at once, but for other TV shows, it's only one season at a time. There's no need to register unless you want to keep track of your history or resume where you left off. Okay, so let's go to Tubi. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, so as you can see here with Tubi, it offers it on any Apple or Android, smart TVs, Amazon, but you could also stream on your Xbox or on your PlayStation, even including your TiVo. Okay, so let's scroll back up. So with Tubi, I could start searching for something by clicking in here, or if I click here, it takes me to where it has the different categories, or I could click up here on our menu and I could click on a category. They also have channels, for example, a and &E. That would mean that it has a and &E shows available for you to stream. If I click on anime, it takes me to an anime section. As you can see, it has popular anime all the way to classic anime. Okay. So Pluto TV. Pluto TV offers free live movies and TV show through dedicated channels. You could also watch movies and TV shows on demand. It has dedicated music channels that offer many genres. You are able to get some local channels through a smart TV, but not through the app or a computer. Basically, if you have a smart TV and you install the Pluto TV app, you could actually watch your local news through it. But if you're doing it through a computer or a smart device, you're not going to be able to do that. You don't need to register unless you want to keep track of your history or resume where you left off. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Pluto. Okay, so as you could see here, you could download the app on the Apple App Store or on the Google Play Store. So when it was talking through dedicated channels, it was basically this right here. For example, it has CNN, where you could watch CNN stuff, you could watch NTV stuff, you could watch stuff from the NBC, from the NFL channel, you could watch stuff from the CBS News Network, and it also has on-demand stuff as well. And as you can see here, it's available across a lot of devices from your gaming consoles, your TV, smart TVs, streaming players, computers, laptops, and any smart device. Okay. Voodoo. Okay, so Voodoo is owned by the movie company Fandango. They have free movies and TV shows with ads they do offer multiple seasons available at once for the TV shows. 
besides streaming stuff for free, you could also buy movies and TV shows on there as you would with any other service, just as iTunes or the Google Play Store. You do need to create an account and register with Vudu even to view the free videos that are being offered on there. Okay, so let's go to voodoo.com. Okay, so I'm going to click here where it says free, and I'm going to click on view all free movies and TV shows. As you can see here, like I mentioned, there's multiple TV seasons available at once. Up here, they have it divided up by the different categories. If I click on view all, it gives me all the categories that they have. And like I said, it is totally free, but it comes with ads. Okay. So this is one of the newer ones that just came out last year. IMDb TV. You must create an IMDb account to stream the movies or TV shows. You can stream on a computer, phone, or tablet. They don't have an actual app that you could download of any of the app stores yet. And if you want to stream it through a smart TV, you can only do it through an Amazon Fire TV, whether it's the stick, the stream player, or the TV. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to type in imdb.com. Okay, so once I'm here on the IMDb website, I scroll up here where it says IMDb TV, and as you can see here, these are some of the movies that they're offering for free right now. So once I click here, it actually takes me to where I could browse more. As you can see here, they offer more movies, they offer more TV shows. And the good thing about here is that they offer multiple seasons at one time. Okay, so let's go back to our slides. Okay, stir. Okay, so you don't need to create an account for this. The good thing about this is that you can ask this local news from different cities, for example, if your hometown is in Houston, but it's somewhere else in the United States, if you install this app or download this app, you could actually watch the local news, news and channels from that particular city or town. And it has access to some of the local over the air channels, which is what I have mentioned already before. Okay, so let's go to stir. Okay, so the website, it hasn't fully loaded yet, which is fine. Okay, so let's scroll back up. Okay, here we go. The website is finally loading. As you can see here, let's say you're from Beaumont, the Beaumont Port Arthur Orange area. You can watch the local news over there and they're over their channel. Let's say you're from Alabama. You could look at something from Birmingham or Mobile. So it's a nice way to watch, especially the news, in case if, you, if your hometown wasn't exactly Houston. Okay. Crunchyroll. Okay, so Crunchyroll is one of the main streaming services that is known for anime. You can create a free account you could stream any show for free with ads, or you could buy an ad-free subscription. You could stream shows on a computer, phone, tablet, or TV. It's specifically tailored for fans of anime. Okay, so let's go to the Crunchyroll website. OK, 
Okay, so let me scroll down to the bottom of this page. Okay, as you can see here, you can stream Crunchyroll on different gaming consoles. You could download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. You could do it through a smart TV. You could even do it through a Windows phone, or you could do it from a computer or a laptop as well. Okay, so if you know the name of a specific anime, you could type it in here, or you could always just browse through the ones that they offer. Let's go ahead and click on shows. So you could see here, they have it sorted by the popular, or you could also do it alphabetically. So like I said, Crunchyroll, it's totally free. If I were to click on any anime title, I could start streaming it for free with the ads without actually creating an account. So that's something good and something good to keep in mind. Okay. YouTube. Okay. So YouTube, you know, it's really popular for viral videos, other types of hobbies, but they also offer movies for free. You don't need to sign in to view the free movies. You can stream on any device, including the TV. Some smart TVs and streaming players actually offer like a YouTube app that you could actually install on your TV or media player. And instead of using the little remote, you could actually link it with your phone or tablet. That way it makes browsing a lot easier. Okay, so to do that, you just, once you're on a YouTube website, you click on movies, you go to free to watch and you could start browsing. Okay, so let's go on YouTube. Okay. So if you take a look over here, it says movies and shows, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down, free to watch. So as you can see here, they offer movies that are totally free to watch on YouTube. So next time when you're on YouTube, if you wanna watch a movie, just go to this specific section, go browse and start watching. Okay. Popcorn Flex. So with Popcorn Flex, you can stream on any device, including the TV, smart TVs included. TV shows are limited to a season or two. They also have a YouTube channel where you could also stream their movies without signing in. And something to keep in mind is the selection from their actual website to their YouTube channel. At times it does differ. You might find one on YouTube, but not on the website or vice versa. Okay, so let's go to Popcorn Flex. So as you could see here, they have movies and TV shows. Okay, so let's go back to our slideshow. Okay, PBS Kids. You could stream PBS Kids shows on a computer, phone, tablet, or TV. You could download the app as well. There's no need to create the account. Something that I find interesting with PBS Kids is that if on the website is that you could actually watch what's being shown on this actual channel on TV right now this moment without actually having a television. So if I click here on videos and if I were to click on lights TV, let's say that they were passing Sesame Street or Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, if I click on play right now, what's being shown on the PBS Kids channel right now, that's what's going to be shown on the website right now. It's live TV, like I said. Okay, so CWC. A lot of people don't know 
that besides streaming TV shows that are on the CW network, they actually have as well like a separate service, which is called CWC. It's totally free. There's no need to create an account. You don't need to create an account because they don't offer that option at all. It has a nice selection of past shows plus some channel originals. The catch is that you cannot pick up where you last left off. So basically you can't resume from where you press pause and exit it out and come back to it again. You basically have to click on the same episode and scroll over to about where you left off or exactly where you left off. You can stream shows on a computer, phone, tablet, or on a TV, including smart TVs. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on CWC. Okay, so I'm going to click on shows. Okay, so I'm going to click on trending now. Okay, so as you could see here, these are some of the shows that they offer from past shows to ones that actually ended recently, such as this one right here. If I click on this one right here, as you could see, they're actually offering all the seasons. Okay, so let's go back to our slideshow. Okay, so Zumo, you don't need to create an account. It has live TVs and movies only. There's no on-demand options like some of the other services such as Pluto TV. It has some of the same channels as Pluto TV, but has other channels that Pluto TV doesn't. You can stream the shows on a computer, phone, tablet, or TV. Basically, Zumo is the competition to Pluto TV at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna click on demand. So you could see here, these are some of the dedicated channels. You got Today, ABC News Live, Bloomberg, CBC News, which is actually news from our neighbors up north in Canada, has TVs and movies, has sports, such as Fox Sports, has kids and family, food, drink, and travel, your comedy, entertainment, and many others. So like I said, it's basically like Pluto. Um, Pluto has some stuff that Zumo doesn't, and Zumo has other stuff that Pluto doesn't. And like I said, they're basically the competition to each other at the moment. Okay, so news on. News on, you could watch local news from different parts of the country. You could actually watch the live news, for example, the six o'clock newscast. If I go on news on and go to let's say ABC 13 local news at six o'clock, what I'm seeing there and what I'm gonna see on the news on app or on the smart TV, it's going to be exactly the same thing. The good thing about this is that if you miss the news and you actually wanna watch the whole newscast, you could watch, watch it, any previously recorded newscast up to 48 hours after they air. There is no login required at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to their website. Okay, so as you could see here, it's available for Roku Smart TVs. You can download it from the Amazon App Store, Apple App Store, or the Android App Store to Google Play. As you could see here, as you can see, this is, let's say, if I visit Seattle and I like it there and I wanna see what's going on in Seattle, I could watch the news from Seattle. Or you could watch it from other parts of the country. And it's totally for free, no cable subscription or login required at all. Okay, Weather Nation. Weather Nation is a weather channel type of app. You could see live weather broadcasts 24 hours a day 
with different hosts and maybe garages. You can stream on a smart TV, phone, or on a tablet. Okay, so I'm gonna click on apps. As you could see here, popular devices, Amazon Fire TV, Kindle Fire, Android, Android TV, Apple. They even have it on PlayStation, Roku, Xbox as well. Okay, so as you could see here with this image, it's basically like, as mentioned previously, like a weather channel type of TV channel that is totally free. No subscription required at all. Okay, so Plex. So Plex now offers a free subscription. It's only their movies, news, and TV show section that is free. The other services does have a cost attached to it. You can stream on the phone, tablet, or smart TV. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the Plex site. Okay, so if I click here on watch free, as you could see here, these are some of the different options that you could see on Plex. And as you can see here, these are the different type of devices that you could stream this on. Okay. Retro Crush. This one I actually just found recently. Retro Crush offers free retro and classic anime. They offer TV series and movies. You can stream on a computer, phone, tablet, or smart TV. There's no need to create an account at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Retro Crush. Okay, so as you can see here, retro and classic anime. Okay, let me scroll down and we're going to take a look at something in particular, the FAQs. Okay, it says, what devices can I use to watch Retro Crush? So basically, you could download the apps on iTunes, Google Play. You could stream it through your Apple TV, Android TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Okay, down here it says, what does res registering an account offer? The only thing is you could create a personal watch list and ask this age content, age gated content. So basically, if you register for an account and you didn't fi finish watching a certain episode or movie, it's not going to bring it back up to the last we to the last spot where you stop watching it. So it's up to you if you actually want to create an account or not. Okay. So our last one is Peacock. This one is owned by NBC Universal. It features past and current TV shows. It offers original programming exclusive exclusives that will only stream on Peacock. It will offer hundreds of movies it's totally free with ads. They do offer a paid subscription, which is optional. You can stream on the phone, tablet, or smart TV. Okay, so let's go to Peacock. Okay. So as you can see here, these are some of the TV shows and movies that they offer. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down. So you can see smart TV, TV, smart devices, computer laptops, what you could stream it on. Okay, so what's on Peacock? Let me go ahead and click on TV shows. This one right here, Brave New Roll. This is actually an original, as you can see here. 
they offer TV shows, past and current. Okay, so I would like to thank you all for giving me the opportunity of offering this class virtually. Happy streaming and viewing.